In this video, let's see how can we automate the creation of barcodes using Excel. And you don't need to install anything. You're only going to use a function and a address that are going to leave in the description down below. And from some products, IDs, SKUs, or UPS, doesn't matter what type of identification that you are using for the products, you can convert the number into the image of a barcode or into a image of a QR code and so forth. And the cool thing is those images are going to automatically update for you. Let me show you here a practical example. I have this product ID, but I want to change to another one. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, just a sample and then enter. And as we can notice, all the QR codes, barcodes are going to be automatically updated. And uh, the same thing can be applied when you input new rows. So let's see in a practical way, how can we do it in Excel? The first thing that we need to have is a data set or the numbers, the informations, the addresses that we want to convert into a barcode or into a QR code. And then we also need to have in Excel the equals sign the image function. But let's say your Excel version doesn't have the image because the image is a new Excel function. So what you can do is you can go to the Excel online because it's free and also has all the most recently Excel functions. Okay. And uh, the third thing that we need is this website right here that can help us convert the number into a code, into a barcode, into a image, basically. Okay. Uh, when we use the image function coupled with the address above and this address, by the way, I'm going to leave in the, in the comment sections because that way you can copy and paste into the formula in Excel. And basically the image function is going to send this address right here, the numbers that we have. And then the address is going to retrieve the image corresponding to each one of the numbers. I'm using here some product IDs, uh, identifications, some internal numbers. However, you can also use a UPS number or a, I don't know, SKU and so forth. Okay, so you can use many different numbers and convert into a barcode. So let's go. Equal sign, image, function, double click, one, two. And as the source, I want to use this link right here above. So open quotations, be mindful because it's very important. Open quotations, the first thing, and then control V to paste the link, copy and paste within the formula. Excel is going to open up this message. You just need to click paste everything, and then you can close quotations. And by the way, that message is because as I said, the image function is going to send the numbers to the website and the website is going to retrieve the image. So this is why we got that message. Uh, now, if I hit enter, nothing is going to happen because as we can notice, it's just a link itself. It's just the address. I'm going to hit enter. Okay. So yeah, nothing is going to happen here. Let me increase the width of this column. And yeah, why it's not working is because the link itself is not going to retrieve anything. But we need to append to the link the numbers that we have and to append all the cells, not manually, but uh, automatically. What we can do is double click in the cell. Let me get rid of the last parentheses. And then I want to use the ampersand, ampersand and append the number that I have here to the left. And simple as that. Now, if I hit enter again, I'm going to have a small barcode right here. But if you want to increase the size of the barcode, you can increase the height of the rows. So let's do it. Let's select all the rows, click, hold and drag down. And yeah, that's it. Now let's click in the cell where I have the, key, the, the barcode. Click at the bottom right corner, hold and drag down to cut this function to all the rows. And yeah, that's it. Now I have a barcode to all the numbers, the identifications, the SKUs, the UPS for my products. And if I change a number to another one, let's say one, two, three, five, for, for example, and then enter. The picture is going to be automatically updated. But let's say you don't want to use a barcode. You want to use a different type of barcode, such as bar 39. What you can do is double click one, two in the, in the function. And instead of using here auto, that is going to retrieve the 
barcode that fits the best to the number that you have, you can specify what is the type of barcode that, we, that you need, such as bar 38, and then enter. It's going to change for you. And you can also use different types. I don't know, bar 39 or any other type. And you can also use a QR code. So let's test this right here. Let me input here maybe a link or also I can convert this barcode. And instead of have here bar 39, I can type in QR. Simple as that. And then enter. Now I'm going to have a QR code. And if I have an address, let's say uh, jopapixel.com, enter, equal sign, image, double click, one, two. The source is going to be again, open quotations, always use quotations, very important. Control V to paste the link, paste everything, close quotations. Uh, let's change this auto to QR. And let's append with the ampersand the cell above. And if I hit enter, I'm going to have a QR code that corresponding to the address itself. So this is how we can easily create barcodes in Excel that automatically update for us. And uh, you can use those QR codes to all the rows that you have. Doesn't matter the quantity of the rows. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow.